Assalamu alaikum. Inshallah, I'm going to continue. This is the fourth video on the Bible. I'm trying to keep them short, inshallah, so I don't run out of time. I'm keeping myself timed here. Now, uh, okay, with the time frames, okay, we have Abraham 10,000 years before Jesus. You have Moses, which is about 2,000 years before Jesus. And then you have Jesus, and now it's 2008, inshallah. And Prophet Muhammad was uh, about 507 years after uh, Jesus. Okay. Now, during the time uh, in which they were compiling the Bible, there were uh, what is known as uh, the Nicene Council. The Nicene Council happened in 325 after Jesus' ascension. Okay. The Nicene Council was held by Constantine. And what Constantine did was he brought together all the heads of the kingdom of the Roman Empire. Which at the same time, let me just point this out, that the Roman Empire were persecuting and killing Christians, okay? They were crucifying them. If they didn't worship the emperor at that time, the Roman Emperor at that time, they would be crucified on the spot, no question. If they even thought that they were they were a Christian, if even somebody said that they were a Christian, they would be crucified. So please understand that these people were being persecuted with in great numbers, okay? This is before the advent of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, so Constantine, what he did was he figured, okay, there was about there was quite a few um, councils what they had, and what he did was he brought he figured the only way that he can get everybody, pagans, Christians, and Romans to unite is to let things come into the religion. Now, what you have is Sunday. Sunday, what is Sunday? Sunday is the day in which if they would worship the sun god, the sun god. These were for the, from the pagans. This crept into Christianity. You know, because in order to let the pagans get into the religion that they would have to have, they're not going to give up their Sunday because this is the day they worship the sun. So, what Constantine was, he let this these people come in with the pagans, the Christians. He said, okay, we'll give you a little bit, we're not going to give you a lot. Right? In order to be, to secure his kingdom, inshallah. He said, uh, and sometime he said he looked up at the sun and he seen, seen a vision of the cross and uh, he was uh, also a believer. Inshallah. So this is one of the signs of the uh, the cross. Also about the cross is that the cross is uh, the foundation for a pyramid. A cross is 360 degrees, if you can, uh, Inshallah. 360 degrees is a cross. It's the foundation for a pyramid. And for those who know, Inshallah, you can uh, see that. Um, pyramids are the pinnacle of uh, the... Uh, Egyptians and uh, things of this and it comes from there's a lot of uh, religion right now that has uh, Egyptian um, practices in it and with that I'm gonna leave it alone inshallah so okay the compilation of the Bible Constantine had a great part in what is in the Bible right now there's six hundred there's 64 books in the Bible okay four Gospels 13 books from Paul and uh, these crept into with the time of Constantine when he was come compiling the Bible okay the first four books of the gospel are proven fact that Matthew Mark Luke and John were not companions of Jesus peace be upon him if you look in Luke chapter 1 it says many have undertaken to draw up a, an account of things that have been fulfilled among us just as they were handed down to us by those who from First were eyewitnesses and servants of the word. Therefore, since I myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning, it seemed also good to me to write an orderly account for you, most excellent Thapilius. Uh, the Thapilius. So this is the first, ch the first uh, one through three, chapter one, verse one through three. This is Luke. This is saying that his his, his interpretation will happen with Jesus, and handed down from the generations. Because after Jesus, these people that wrote these gospels were not eyewitnesses. What it was is they were telling stories about Jesus. So there may be some truth in it. There may may not be some truth in it. Please understand that these right here. That's one fact just for Luke. Okay. There's different things that, that Jesus may have said because, you know, when somebody says something and somebody hears it, they continue to, this guy said this, this guy, and it gets changed, it gets changed until these are the books. But please understand that the first gospel was written 35 years after Jesus' ascension. The first gospel, which was Mark and James, 
Them were the first two books that were written in the New Testament. Please understand that. Okay? Now, if you look in Acts through Revelations, Acts through Revelations were books or letters. Acts is a book. Corinthians, Romans, Corinthians 2, Phil uh, Philistines, uh, you know, these books right here, these weren't books, these were letters to these people because Paul was trying to teach his form of Christianity. You, pl you please understand that. that this, gen this man was just similar to Constantine when he was oppressing and killing Christians. And what he did was the same thing that this gentleman did, this, this person, Constantine. What he did was the only way to unite the people is to start preaching and saying that, that he has all of a sudden become a, a, a believer and this is how I'm going to teach you how to make your, um, to make your, uh, uh, you know, your religion up. Because believe me, Jesus never said nothing about a trinity. The trinity doesn't come in until after the, uh, uh, the Gospels. And the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost and all these things. You know, th this stuff is uh, <coughs> a form of Paul. And uh, you, you have to remember that Revelations. Revelations is considered a dream. You know, it was a dream and it was written 95 to 100 years after Jesus. So, uh, here are some historical facts for the Bible. Please understand there's a lot of symbolic meanings in it and uh, metaphors that are used that are uh, not should, should be in a religion. Thank you so much for your time, inshallah. I hope that um, anything that I've said, um, I did not offend no one. And uh, these things on the Bible are just some things that I've learned throughout my own studying. And I hope that uh, God is pleased with my efforts. And I only do this in order to help people and teach them about religion, inshallah. And to get some mercy for myself. Uh, because on a day of judgment, uh, everything that I've said and everything that I do and you do and we all do, will be held accountable or will benefit us. So, uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help me and my family and continue to teach us this religion, the religion of all religions, the world religion, and uh, uh, make it easier for us in this world and the hereafter. Um, and bless Muhammad and the family of Muhammad. And keep us on the straight. Surat al-Mustakim. MashaAllah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.